Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. This is another one of those videos that basically applies to Australians only. So if you're from anywhere else in the world, um, you, can, you can still watch this just because it's from Australians only, you know. It's not like the Holocaust camps, you don't have to click X and stuff like that. Um, but essentially on Xbox 360, uh, now at the moment, they have Foxtel, which uh, to the Americans is cable television, to the UK is Sky television, I think, and in Saudi Arabia, the Camel Network. Um, that's not racist, that's a joke. People and people need to make fun, learn to how to make fun of themselves. For example, after this, I'm going to go and put a shrimp on the barbie and fuck a kangaroo. Um, but besides that, and all serious now, um, as you are well aware, in uh, the United States at E3, it was announced, that for US customers, I believe Canada, uh, ESPN for free. Now, on top of ESPN, there is Netflix, um, there is Zazoon, whatever it is, and there's all these other awesome, awesome, awesome stuff that no one in the world has because they're not American. UK, UK someone will have to verify me this, but I'm positive that you get Sky Television for free on your Xbox 360, provided um, you're with Sky Television uh, you know, with your own television, so you get it on Xbox Live for free and stuff like that. Now, what they have tried to do, or what they are doing at the moment, is introducing Foxtel, which is Australia's cable television, onto the Xbox 360. Now, you think that if those were the terms and conditions in the United Kingdom, and the, you know, you get free shit on in, in, in the USA, we can't do that because of copyright issues. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, the reason why is... Da, 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 da. But what you can do now is you can get Foxtel for $20 a month. Uh, the basic starter kit, which is like... F I can't... I don't give a fuck. You know, I haven't even looked at it. I don't give a shit how many channels there are. I don't know. I don't care. And on top of that, you can get, um, different packs that cost $5, $6, $10 each for different movie channels, Discovery Network, and all this other kind of shit, which is great. You know, that's good that they're finally bringing something to Australia, but... You have to fucking pay for it. I've already got Foxtel in the room that way, that way, and that way again. I've got Foxtel, and if I wanted to, if I wanted to have Foxtel on this television so fucking badly, I would either buy a second box, which cost about $20, $30 extra a month, which really, it shits all over the Xbox because for multiple reasons. So if any of you want to get that on the Xbox, buy a second box, I'll tell you why. Because... You get all the channels that you've already got on the one in there, which is probably more than the Xbox will grant you. You don't have to put up with Australian internet, which is a subject we'll get on in a little bit. And it's easier, it's better, you can have a remote and you don't have to have your Xbox on all the time. Because we know that when you have your Xbox on for a long period of time, there is a 95% chance that your house will burn down. But, if you don't want to pay that $80 a month, and I should have thought of this before, uh, $20, $20, dollars extra a month, you can do this. Um, where are we? You can go, and now, I, my house is, um, old, so you can't go in the roof and stuff, but you can go under the house, so if you've got the liability in your house to go under it, then get a set of these, get some splitters, and you can actually run, provided it's not HD, that, that, that might be another in the wood pile, um, but you can run this, put this in your TV out, and if you've already got something in there, use splitters, and then use splitters to combine this to make one gigantic component cable that you can then, and my friends did this when we were little and it was awesome, and you can run it from the lounge room or wherever it is you've got your normal setup to this television here, under the house, above the house, or through the walls. I can't do that because under the house is fucking scary and the house is like double bricks, so there's no chance of getting those through the wall. And the only problem with that is to change a channel, you have to be in there, which... <sighs> is convenient and it's free you know now another problem with the Foxtel is that it suffers well everything suffers from Australian internet now my download speed is about it's advertised at 20 megabits per second uh, that's the fastest you can get in this country I believe at the moment um, which is to all you Americans oh, that's, that's, that's dial-up speed dude that's fucking shitty uh, my upload speed is like 1.5 megabits per second if I can get that high that's why I, I detest using high definition most of the time because I could it, the laptop sits here and steams for about three hours trying to upload 200 meg um, and that's a problem because a lot of other people have download speeds I think the normal download speed in Australia is about 1.5 megabit download so could you imagine trying to download high definition um, movies, high definition television, high definition, and you're supposed to stream it. You're supposed to stream it. Ugh, fuck me. 
And can you really, and, and this is the kicker because I think Australia, New Zealand and the UK, I think, and uh, America, because we're a, we're a fucking capitalist country and they know that we need the internet, but in Sweden and in fucking every other country in the world except China and the ones in the Middle East, there's no such thing as a download cap. Now, for those of you in Sweden going, but this just download cap. A download cap is, I can download 200 gigabytes of usage per month. Now, the norm in Australia is like fucking 5, 10, 20. Because I'm with Telstra Big Pond and we got upgraded for all this free shit, so ring up and complain. If you're with Telstra Big Pond, ring up right now and complain and they'll just throw in free shit. They'll do it. Trust me. They'll do it. And if they don't, fuck themselves. But the normal, because it's cheaper generally, and the reason it's like this is because it's cheaper to have a phone line, a few mobile phones, and the internet with one company than it is to have the phone line and something and then the internet with something like TPG, which is really good. Um, and they've used up all their bo uh, they've used up all their cables anyway, so I can't get TPG. So what does that mean? I've got 200 gig. I never ever go anywhere close to using it. But imagine people with 10, 15, 20 gig. Uh, add that onto the download speed, and you might as well throw rocks at the screen for entertainment. Because I can assure you, you're not going to get anywhere with HD. You might as well just go to bed and wake up and then watch five minutes of SpongeBob SquarePants that's downloaded up over 12 hours. It doesn't work. And the thing that pisses me off the most is that you have to fucking pay good fucking money for it. Why the fuck can the UK get it for free, or they used to get it for free? Something, someone said something before, and I really haven't been bothered to look it up. But if you can get it for free, fuck bullshit. And you got to look at this. I mean, it's a high, about high, high and tide that the gaming industry, fucking the Australian government, the Australian telecommunications company, internet company, phone company. Anything in Australia, fucking people that import and export to Australia, including PlayStation, including fucking Microsoft, including fucking Apple, look at us as a serious fucking country for once, you fucking bunch of fucking capitalist fucking assholes, and realise that we're not getting ripped off anymore. So if you're Australian and you're out there and you're watching me, fucking buy shit on eBay, fucking buy every game you want on eBay, there's a good store, look it up, I can't remember the name of it, put in a, an Xbox 360 whatever game you want, PlayStation 3, and they import it, they're based in Melbourne, and they import it from the UK, because the UK games cost about 60 Australian dollars, they don't get, they must not get any profit for it, because you can buy brand new release games for 50, 60 Australian dollars, and if I had my JB fucking Hi-Fi fucking thing, I'd be fucking showing you, because like I said yesterday, retail price, let's go through the games that I'm playing, $100, came out, what, a month ago, still $100, $120, probably about $60, $50, even might be $80 somewhere, this came out at the start of the year, this one will be $108, that is the, the reality of what people in Australia play for, pay for fucking video games at these capitalist fucking pig outlet stores, at EB Games, JB Hi-Fi, Game, they're all as fucking bad as each other. And they'll say, we price match, we price match. So Big W might have a, a game at fucking $70. Oh, sorry, we only price match from other competitors. Fuck you, EB Games. Fuck you, JB Hi-Fi. Fuck you, Game. Fuck you, Gamesman. Fuck you, any game retailer on this fucking continent because you're a fucking bunch of greedy fucking pigs and you know who you fucking well are because don't fucking give me fucking bullshit about, oh, but it's good import tax. Look at this, fuckhead. Where is it? I can't find it. I was on a roll then, and now I can't find what I'm looking for. Here we go. Fucking import tax, my ass. Made in Singapore. And it gets fucking better. Where's Mass Effect 2? Come on, Mass Effect. Where are you? We need you. Come on. There it is. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Look at this, now it gets even better. Import tax. You're fucking trying to tell me that an import tax marks a 100% increase from 60 US dollars to about 120 US dollars. Mass Effect 2, import tax. So I'm getting an import tax from a fucking concept made in Australia. And don't fucking tell me there's a licensing agreement for the technology of this to be imported from the fucking US or fucking Japan that costs 60 fucking dollars to wirelessly transroute it through the fucking interwebs for that bullshit. Don't you fucking give me that shit and don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare fucking say import tax or I will fucking kill you. And fucking if it's the Australian government with its goddamn entertainment tax, you need to fuck your ass out of my damn country and fucking take video games seriously. And that's my rant for the day. 
I've had a brain fart. Rate, comment and subscribe. I'm out ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, au revoir.